Manchester United in double transfer swap claim as Michael O'Lease update emerges. Latest Manchester United transfer news and rumors as Ineos prepare for the opening of the summer window on June 14th. Manchester United face a busy summer as they prepare for their first transfer window under the co-ownership of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos group. United may have yet to decide on the future of Eric Ten Hag, but the new structure put in place should mean that any potential deals will not be influenced by who the manager is. Therefore, the club's plans for who could be signed and sold should be well underway ahead of the window opening on June 14th and Gazzetta dello Sport have claimed that Mason Greenwood has agreed to join Juventus after his loan spell at Getafe in 2023-24. However, it is said that the Serie A giants cannot afford the United forward, with the club rumored to want between 35 million euro and 40 million euro. It is claimed that Juve will offer talented England U21 international Samuel Eiling Jr. to secure a cheaper deal for Greenwood. It is also said that winger Federico Chiesa could also be a possible player used in any potential deal. Elsewhere, the London Evening Standard are claiming that Chelsea are ready to battle United for the signature of Crystal Palace star Michael Olise. The Blues were heavily linked with the winger last summer before he opted to sign a new deal at Palace. But the report claims that Chelsea will revisit a move this summer amid reports of a 60 million euro release clause, although the structure of the buyout fee could mean that he is allowed to leave for less. In other news, the Athletic report that Barcelona must find $130 million before June 30th if they are to make any signings, leading to suggestions that United could revisit a deal for Frankie de Jong. United were engaged in a protracted transfer saga in the summer of 2022 as they attempted to sign De Jong. The report claims that the Dutch midfielder could be available for 80 minderers, 68 p minderers, this summer, but that fee could drop nearer to the deadline Barcelona have been set. Arsenal have also been linked with the 27-year-old. With the opening of the summer transfer window just days away, Manchester United's preparations for a squad overhaul under the stewardship of Ineos kicked into high gear. Amidst the buzz of anticipation and speculation, reports emerged linking the club to a bold double transfer swap deal that could reshape their squad for the upcoming season. At the heart of the proposed swap was Michael Olise the highly coveted young midfielder whose meteoric rise at Reading had caught the attention of top clubs across Europe. With Manchester United eager to inject fresh talent into their midfield ranks, Olise emerged as a prime target for their ambitious recruitment drive. In a strategic move aimed at both bolstering their squad and trimming the wage bill, Manchester United's hierarchy explored the possibility of orchestrating a double transfer swap involving Olise and two of their own players. While the specifics of the deal remained shrouded in secrecy, rumors swirled about the identities of the players earmarked for departure in exchange for Olise's services. As negotiations between Manchester United and Reading gathered momentum behind closed doors, speculation ran rampant over the potential impact of the proposed swap on both clubs. For Reading, the prospect of parting ways with their prized asset in exchange for established Premier League talent presented a tantalizing opportunity to strengthen their squad and reinvest in their future. Meanwhile, at Manchester United, the prospect of adding a player of Olise's caliber to their ranks signaled their intent to build a squad capable of challenging for silverware on multiple fronts. With Ineos providing the financial backing and strategic vision needed to execute such bold moves, the stage was set for a summer of transformative change at Old Trafford. As the clock ticked down to the opening of the transfer window, anticipation reached fever pitch among fans, pundits and players alike. With the promise of new arrivals and high-profile departures looming on the horizon, Manchester United braced themselves for a summer of upheaval that would shape the club's fortunes for years to come. 
With Ineos poised to make their mark on the club's transfer dealings, the Manchester United faithful eagerly awaited the unveiling of their new-look squad and the dawn of a new era under the stewardship of their ambitious new owners. Feel free to adjust or add any details to further develop this narrative. Eze, 25. Eze was born in Greenwich, Greater London, to Egbo Nigerian parents. Growing up, he reflected on his life, saying, There are the nice parts of Greenwich, and the not-so-nice parts. I grew up in a not-so-nice part. It wasn't the easiest life, and you don't have as much as other kids around you. The first place we'd go after school is to the cage. We'd stay there till our parents called us in, not eating, playing all day and night. There wasn't really anything else to do. But that's where the love comes from. At the time, you don't realize it's actually how you're learning your trade. Growing up, his footballing idol was Ronaldinho. Z then met Bright Osai Samuel, his teammate during his time at Queen's Park Rangers, at secondary school, and played football together at the same district team. Z started his football career at Arsenal before being released when he was 13, and then went on to join Fulham and Reading. Azzy then appeared as a youth player at Millwall, where he signed a two-year scholarship with the club. Azzy quickly progressed both the U18 side and the reserve side. It was announced in April 2016 that Azzy would be leaving Millwall at the end of the 2015-16 season after not being offered a professional contract. And Olise, 22. On 8 July 2021, Olise signed a five-year deal with Premier League side Crystal Palace after they had activated his 8.37 million release clause. On 11 September 2021, Olise made his Premier League debut for the club in a 3-0 home win against Tottenham after coming on as a substitute in the 86th minute in place of Jordan Ayew. On 23 October 2021, Olise made his full debut for Crystal Palace in a 1-1 home draw against Newcastle United. On 3 October 2021, Olise scored his first Premier League goal for the club as a second-half substitute in a 2-2 home draw against Leicester City. In doing so, he became Palace's youngest Premier League scorer since Clinton Morrison in 1998. On 9 April 2023, Olisa became the youngest player to assist three goals from open play in a single Premier League match in a 5-1 victory against Leeds United. On 13 May, he became the first Palace player to register 10 assists in a single Premier League season, setting up Ebereki Easy's second goal in a 2-2-0 win against AFC Bournemouth. On 17 August 2023, it was announced Olise had signed a new four-year deal with Crystal Palace, amidst reports that he was on the verge of rejoining Chelsea. In February 2024, Olise suffered a hamstring injury, described by Palace manager Hodgson as serious. In the 4-1 defeat by Brighton on 3 February 2024, Olise had come on as a substitute, only to come off limping shortly after have shown a bright at Selhurst Park in the last few years, and that has led to intense interest from a raft of elite clubs. However, the Eagles are looking to take advantage of their strong negotiating position, as they are safe from relegation and not at all obliged to sell their best players in the summer. Plus, both forwards are tied down to contracts that run until 2027, and thus Oliver Glasner's side is in no rush. According to the BBC, Palace understand it is still highly likely suitors will come back during the summer transfer window. But they will have to splash at least 60 mil dollars for each player, and a potential bidding war would drive the price even higher. However, any deal would be complex with percentages due to the attacker's former clubs, the players themselves, and of course, Palace. Nevertheless, as Sunsport revealed, Palace are preparing potential transfer contingency plans by drawing up a short list of targets that would succeed the pair. Azzy was targeted by Manchester City last summer, but the treble winners ultimately went for Wolves star Matthias Nunes. Tottenham have also shown interest in the playmaker during this season. Sir Alex Ferguson phoned me every week to check I was going to school, but I still snubbed Man United. 
John Terry has opened up on just how keen former Man United manager Sir Alex Ferguson was on signing him. Former Chelsea and England captain John Terry has revealed former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson wanted to sign him as a youngster. Terry spent a combined total of 22 years on Chelsea's books, joining them at the age of 14 in 1995. Making 717 appearances for the club at first team level, the former centre-back, who won 17 major trophies during that period, will go down in history as one of the club's all-time greats. However, the now 43-year-old, who joined Chelsea's academy from West Ham United, has revealed that things could have worked out differently had Ferguson had his way. The legendary Scott, during Terry's youth, used to ring the former centre-back's family home every week to check on his progress. United, according to Terry, rolled out the red carpet in a bid to sign him, but Chelsea was where the former Aston Villa defender felt he belonged. After joining the club's youth ranks in 1995, he made his first team debut three years later in 1998. 